When it rains, do you ever wonder, where does all the water go after it falls on the ground? In a city, that's actually a pretty big problem to solve because much of the area is covered with impenetrable concrete or asphalt. And when water has nowhere to go, flooding is a real possibility. In fact, the city of Medford requires that all businesses have a way of draining excess water that flows from their property. And you know where there's a large area covered by flat paved ground? The airport. Fortunately, the Rogue Valley International Medford Airport is well prepared. They've recently developed a state-of-the-art solution that will be able to handle excess water for many years in the future. Enter the new stormwater facility. So the stormwater facility that we constructed actually began last year. The large detention pond area was completed in late 2021. This piece behind me was completed in about May of this year, and then the swale around it was finished uh, shortly after. The system was built to capture the stormwater that's coming in upstream through most of the impervious areas of the airport. The flume that's behind us uh, fills up with water over tops and filters down through four filtration basins. They're each about 100 feet long, 15 feet wide, with a manifold system underneath them to pick up the water and then convey that to about a thousand foot storm drain system that runs it down to the detention pond area that in normal years would never ever see any water. It's designed in a 25 year event uh, roughly three and a quarter inches of water in a 24 hour period of time, it would actually back up enough that it would then uh, overtop the control wall structures and enter the pond uh, detention area. That system would then back up with that heavy flow of water and mimic the time that water would have taken to get off of a site that was not covered with impervious surfaces. As the detention area backs up, it's actually designed to completely empty out within a 48 hour period of time. So the system is, is really not a pond in the sense that it just detains the water for a very short period of time before releasing it uh, into its natural course. The driving force on this stormwater facility was that um, we needed to go ahead and have a location that would be as close to our off-site airport property as possible and would still incorporate all of the drainage from the airport. This uh, particular location and size of it was designed to go ahead and take on all future development as well as existing development. By doing it this way, we were able to go ahead and remove several smaller detention locations that will allow future development in those areas. Sounds like a pretty elegant solution to excess water, doesn't it? But you might be wondering, is this a holding pond? Will it attract wildlife that could disrupt the local ecosystem and endanger airport operations? We really wanted to emphasize that this, this is not a pond per se where people see standing water and there was a lot of uh, design considerations to actually eliminate the standing water. Several key factors went into to designing a pond to uh, minimize wildlife attractancy. The FAA design criteria requires pond stormwater to be fully drained 48 hours after a 25 year storm event. By accomplishing that, we incorporated a concrete valley gutter along the floor of the pond to help facilitate any of the slow moving water to drain out as soon as it can. Some other wildlife detractants that we put into the design were incorporating the lines of the interior walls of the pond to be lined with crushed aggregate or large riprap type rock, and we found that that's a good deterrent to uh, flying waterfowl. In particular to the biofiltration swale, we also intentionally selected this design to minimize standing water on the surface. Our conventional design would be to horizontally uh, filtrate water through vegetation. Uh, we wanted to avoid that, get the water uh, flowing vertically through a soil medium to get it off the surface and prevent a, an attractant from wildlife to wanting to find shelter, a food source, or want to hang out on some ponding water. 
This particular design uh, has a soil medium with sand and, and aggregate and activated aluminum to help filtrate pollutants coming from upstream from the airport's impervious areas. It's pretty amazing how this system has such a low impact on the surrounding wildlife. But what about everything downstream from the detention pond? Is the water that drains into the creek safe? So the overall goal of the project was to uh, enhance the quality of life for neighbors downstream and uh, even wildlife downstream. And with this project, we were able to accomplish both. Our system intercepts that, that flow coming off of the, all the impervious areas, routes it through a biofiltration swale, and then reconnects the flow back into the normal drainage channels, releasing the stormwater at a slower rate mimicking the native dra drainage patterns of, of, of the area. Who knew there was so much thought, science, and planning that went into safely removing excess water from the ground? Not only does the stormwater facility at the Rogue Valley Medford International Airport keep things running smoothly and prevent flooding for the foreseeable future, but it also has a net positive on the local environment, and we think that's some pretty great engineering.